Arguably, Flinders fared much better than Captain Baudin, the French captain and explorer who led the Emperor Napoleon's expedition to map and claim the southern coast of Terre Australe. Baudin and Flinders actually met each other during their respective missions at Encounter Bay in Tasmania, where Flinders convinced Baudin that he had already been there and done that, <laughs> and he preferred Australia to uh, the French idea of Terre Napoleon. <laughs> I can only guess as to the frustration Baudin and his crew felt, thwarted in their mission to claim French sovereignty over the southern land, <clears throat> realising that they had been wasting their time after literally years at sea. Baudin died on the return voyage, and François Perron, the expedition's naturalist, was left to write the account of the voyage. And we have a fine first edition, which is quarter-bound in calf, with a series of beautifully drawn and vivid coloured plates on display here. Perron and Bourdain did not get on. Such was Perron's loathing of his late captain that he completed the first three volumes of the account of the voyage and expedition without mentioning the captain's name at all. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, the Perron volumes are richly detailed in their discoveries and beautifully illustrated. <laughs> 